Hi guys, this is Master, Coach Tony Morgan and today's video is on a Becerra Compact 25HE and what we're going to be doing today is changing the fan venturi so on this video it's in under the stairs so it's a bit compact hence the name and also the position of the boiler so we're going to show you how to remove the combustion cover now to do that you've got these clips here which push down and there's one on the other side that pushes down you can use grips or a screwdriver to lever it down a bit like that same with the other one like that and then this panel just lifts off like that Okay, so what we're going to be looking at is this here. Inside there's a fan, it's a fan, fan venturi, which is this. So it's going to involve us taking off this clamp, disconnecting the tubes here. We're going to have to remove this combustion cover, that's the inner one. We're going to take that off, take the screws off. We're going to remove the sides this side here you've got a screw at the top one at the bottom and that'll give us access to the side of the boiler with me i've got Mohammed he's doing his gas portfolio so he's going to be learning hands-on while he's doing his gas portfolio looking at boiler repair as well so the reason we're going to be changing this fan venturi is because what happens, the fan runs, but it doesn't make the air pressure switch. So hence, then it goes into lockout. And it's because this is damaged or blocked. Now you can clean it out or you can replace it completely and put a new one in. So we're going to be putting a new fan venturi in the boiler so my assistant's going to be removing the screws now we're ready to remove this cover so gently pull it from the bottom that's it and then tilt it towards you keep it that's it because you don't want to have that this tipping out or you know falling off this part so then we can lay that flat and, and, and keep it in a safe place the next thing i'm going to do is remove the side panel so i'm going to remove that top screw and there's one at the bottom so you just gently hold that edge there just push it out towards you slightly that's it and then slide it towards you push it, that's it and again we'll just put that in a safe area we're going to do the same on the other side now and take that other side panel off Now what we've got to do, we're going to disconnect the electrical connection from the fan. So we've got the earth, alive and neutral. So we'll just pull these off. You might need pliers because they could be a bit stiff. So we're going to pull them off to start with. So let me just see how we're going to get on with this. Be very careful with these because you don't want it pulling from the, the fan side of it and coming out the fan. Right, then we're gonna disconnect the tubes from the air press well from the fan so 
and just pull them off. So what we can do, just you can make a note of this actually. So you can see, if you look at the tube, but you just pulled off where they're going to. So the long one's going to the bottom and the short one to the top. Yeah, so you kind of make a mental note of that. We've got these screws here at the top, but we're going to remove, which hold the air pressure switch. As I said, we're pretty confined space. We're under the stairs doing this. So it's a bit of a challenge. So you can just let that hang basically for the time being. <coughs> now, we're going to remove these two screws. With this, try and separate that now. It's a bit stiff. That's it, that's it. Then, break this other side. Just, that's it. Just move it away from the from this part, which is fine. Now, under here, we need a long screwdriver. That, no, not that one. Be, that's it. Because under there, you've got a screw right in the centre through this gap here. On the big, bigger models, they have probably four screws at the back, but this has just got the one. That screw found it came out it was a bit of a struggle, but we got it out. So now we can basically pull the whole thing forward towards us. But actually before we do that, we've got this side to remove. So we need that long screwdriver again. And under there, under here, there's a screw there, that's it. And keep your hand on this, don't want that falling. And then just pull the screw and this metal towards you, that's it. So what you're gonna do? So what, more what you're gonna do now mm -hmm. is put your hands there and then just move it. Okay. Just move it up and down. Mm -hmm. That's it. Go on, keep doing that, and and then it should slide towards you. That's it. That's it. That's it. Stop there. So that's enough for us to get in here. To get this fan venturi out mm -hmm. so if i look from the other side show the view is what we're talking about so that's a fan venturi there that's it there so when a fan blows it causes a differential pressure and that differential pressure makes the air pressure switch make so if this is clogged up there's no differential and that means there's no movement of the air pressure switch the air pressure switch doesn't make then it won't start the ignition sequence so that's a common fault on one of these boilers so Mohammed just you got a question you want to ask yeah I was just gonna ask how does the customer notice that uh, the boiler has got something wrong with the fan Ventura well, as far as the customer's concerned, they'll have the boiler not working. It'll, it'll probably go red light. So down here on the front panel, you've got this LED there and that'll go red. So as far as they're concerned, they'll see that red light on and it's not working. So that's their symptom of the boiler not working. So what you're gonna do, is you're going to get on that nut use your adjustable spanner 
turn that, take that nut off, and then that'll just push inside, and you'll just pull it out that way. Mm -hmm. What I would do, just get it from this direction like that. Mm -hmm. Just turn it like that. Okay. There you go. That's it. You can turn it with hand now. So you're getting a good bit of experience, doing a bit of repairs, doing your yeah. desk portfolio. How does that compare to what you've experienced before? Well, brilliant, amazing. Yeah, that is clearly blocked. So we're going to be replacing that anyway with the new Venture, which we'll show you in a second. So this is the, um, the kit, what you get. There's a part number. If you want to take that, guys, take that down. So this is what's in it. And we're going to be, this is the Venture, the new one. And it's going to be held on by that clip. Not by this, not what we're taking off just now. And then we're going to use these little adapters on the end of the Venturi and on the end of the existing port, what's on the fan already. And we use these little light balloon things which go on the end, which I'll show you. All right, we're going to offer that into the fan. So, and then I'll pop through the hole that way. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to get that clip and that'll slide over it. But just do that bit first. That's it. Shove that through, all the way through. That's it. And get that clip. Let me, let me just see, let's check. Which way it's going to go? So that's not very firm, so it's the other way. Pull that off. Turn it around. more solid that's it so that's locked it in now we're going to put these little adapters on which are going to go one's going to go over there and one's going to go over there so if you get them two black things yeah just short let's have a look at them so these are these little adapter things so these are going to go on the ends like that and then the tube goes on one side and this then bottles go on that side so bring them little bottle things up as well that shows so that's them so we'll probably put these on first actually so I'll put that bottle thing on the end there like that yeah that's it shove it on That's it. And you can do the other one as well. Funny contraption really. That's it. Right. And then what we're going to do. This side. Goes. On there. Actually I thought we'd done it. Wait a minute. No, you've done that. You've done that wrong. Let's pull that off there again. And put it on this end. Just check your ones the same. That's it. Right, okay, so now that'll go, one will go on there, so you shove that on, I need your two hands really, 
hold the fan, hold it in position. A bit tight. That's it. The same with your one. So that's going to go in that position like that. So wait a minute, it needs to be. You keep the fan there. So that's it. So it's about the position it's going to be, and then the tubes will go on these two <coughs> ends like that. Yep. So we'll be putting this new tubes which, which the manufacturer supplied, so we'll put the new tubes on. But we can do that after, it's not a problem. So now, basically when we put the fan back, slide it back how it was before. So you're just going to just gently, that's it, go backwards. That's it, in position, that's it, cool. And then basically we're just going to put everything back as reverse and we took everything out. So we'll put that screw in the centre, we'll do that and then start reassembling all the components. Now we're going to put this centre screw, what we took out from before, so I'll have it in that position. Have a long screwdriver like this and then you've got to guide it gently across the e exchanger into the hole and then tighten it up like that so this one goes what you got it's gonna go this way like that but get your screwdriver on that screw first And line it up. So when you take it back out, you need to have that in that position there. Then do it that way. So it's getting a bit of hands-on training and working on the combi wireler whilst doing his gas portfolio. So it's getting a nice little bonus today, aren't you? Yes. So now we're going to do the clamp here, so we get that in position. So, got a few longer screws. One here. So you do it yourself, you get that in position. Right, stop a sec, just twist that up so it's more that way, that's the way, that's it, that's about it, yeah. And then you can get the other one in now, stop that, and then try the other one now. So as I said, this is a common problem, you'll find this on this boiler and on the Pro Combi boiler which is basically the same make made by Vicara the Pro Combi so I'm just going to put the electrical connections back on can do the air pressure switch we can put that clamp back on so that goes like this just line it up with the screws holes
or what I do sometimes you can if you get let me see which one it is if you put let me see we can do it from the top can you line it up mm -hmm. that's it let's over look a bit more there's a touch over that's it there I've got that one I think mm -hmm. The of one. <coughs> now we're going to replace the tubes now. So, do you remove that one and put the new. Just put that one on first. That's it. That's it. And let's change that one. Okay. Then can it that yeah that's it. Need to hold that carefully. I'll we'll keep that straight. Yeah, that's enough, yeah. And same with that one. Yeah, that'll do, yeah. Right, what we'll do now, so that's electrical connections done. Tubes on. We've connected here. Done that screw there. So, what we're going to do, we're just going to make sure that the air pressure switch works. So we can do it like this. So what we're going to do, in fact, no, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put this cover on first. So we'll do that. So to put this back, go from the bottom first. And then just sort of get it on the edges. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What we'll do, just hold it, just hold that a minute. Right, so we'll put the bottom in first. It's tr tricky that bit. See that seam there, it's pushed out. That bit there, we've got to push it in. It's that from this side. up a bit so the holes line up and then that should be okay so once we put the screws in we'll give it a go and see if it works so anyone looking for any hands-on training you know where to come also I'm going to be introducing a new competition coming out soon probably in the next three weeks or four weeks at the latest I'm going to be looking for two butter apprentices so that's what the competition is going to be about someone two lucky people who's going to have an apprenticeship with me but oh, you'll hear more about that coming up soon. So, back to the present. So we're going to turn the boiler on. Let's switch it at the bottom there. And then let's see if this thing works. So we're just going to make, basically check that the air pressure switch is connected right. So it clicks, and there you go. There's ignition. So, reason why it went off because I think our gas is off but it doesn't matter all we want to know 
is that it made the air pressure switch and the shoes were correct. Yeah, for mm -hmm. your. So that's what you do to make sure because you don't want to put it all back together and yeah. find that you didn't connect the tubes right. Mm -hmm. So you do that now, and so we know we're all good. We're going to put the side on, but before I do, I'll just show you what's going on. So you've got this like groove there all the way down. So this edge, that edge there, goes into that groove and then it just pushes up the rest. So you have a go at doing that. That's it. And then you line it up that it makes that top screw. If it's not lined, you might have to push up a little bit more. So you can see the centre of that. And then just tighten it up. That's it. So we're just going to do the same on the opposite side. Part of the process on. <laughs> now we're just going to put the front panel on so it just hooks on that and that one and then you just get the pliers and just swing it round. That's it. Cool. So we'll just give it another try. I said we had the gas off, that's why you went off before. Just put your meter straight, make sure your meter's you gauge, sorry, is upright. Don't it blowing out. We've done that before because we did a tightness test. Here we have to reset the boiler. So you just put it to the centre now like that. Like that. Put it back again. I had a uh, pressure switch you make. There it goes. Fired up for the first time. So I said what was happening previously, that fan would run, no air pressure switch, no ignition, and then the red light <coughs> would come on. And that was a fault. So now that's been rectified, it's all done. So that's the end of our video and end of this job. So if you like what you've seen, give me a like. And um, you can do any questions you want to ask. And I'll see you on the next video. So that's it from me. Bye for now.